In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called implement Q using stacks. So Q is basically a first in first out data structure and stacks is basically last in first out. So the goal for this is that we want to implement Q data structure using stacks. And uh, that supports all the following methods. So push, peak, pop, and empty. So push, basically when we push item to the queue, we add it to the back. Right, we add it from the last. And then we peak, we basically um, returns, right? We want to get the first item that we have in our queue, which is this one right here, which is one. And pop basically means we pop the first items out of the out of the queue, right? So in this case, the first item is one. So we when we remove this item, when we remove an item from the queue, we're removing this item right here. And uh, there's also empty, which basically check to see if the queue is empty. Okay, so we want to implement this uh, my queue class, right? And that supports those methods. In this case, we only uh, we we must only uh, use only standard operations of a stack, which means that only push to the pop to the top, peak pop from the top, size and its empty operations are valid. Take a look at how we can insert items to the queue. So if I have a queue like this, if I were to insert an item, let's say one, it will insert it here on the, from the back, right? And if I were to insert two, it will insert it to the back. And if I if I want to pop a, if I want to remove item, in this case, the, the item that we're going to remove is one because we want to remove first, right? So then if I want to insert another item, it's going to be three put it right here, right? We're going to put item at the last. So how can we do this using the stack? So if we were to use a stack, in, in this case, let's say we were to insert an item, it's gonna be one, insert another item, it's gonna be two. If I were to remove item, it's gonna be the last item out of the stack, right? So it's gonna be two out of stack. So now we only have one. So if I were to insert another item, in this case, we have three. So we insert three here, right? So how can we use stacks to implement a queue? In this case, what we can do is we can use two stacks and the goal is this so basically we want to insert these items onto the stack right when we're pushing items in we want to push it onto the stack so this will give us a constant type complexity right for insertion but if we were to delete an item we're going to use another stack which in this case s2 right we're going to have another stack in charge of removing items so what we're going to do is we're going to if we were to remove an item we're going to get all the items that we have in our current stack one onto the stack two, so that we have something like this, where we have the top items is the one that we want to remove, right? So in this case, one is the first item that we're going to remove in the queue. So in this case, when we put all the items into stack two, now we can remove the top item that we have in stack two, right? And in this case, at the end, you can see that we have um, only two items. And if I want to insert another item, we will insert it into S1, okay? And let's say, if, I'll give you another example, right? So if we were to use this type of approach, right? We have uh, stack one and stack two. Stack one is in charge of um, basically insertion, adding items onto this, onto this queue, onto this my queue. Um, and then S2 is basically in charge of removing items, right? So if I were to have one, two, three, four, right? Okay, so if I were to insert an item in, it will get it into uh, S1. So we have one item here. And if I were to insert another item, we're gonna have two. And if I want to remove an item, in this case, first we check to see if S2 is empty. If it's empty, we're gonna um, get all the items that we have in S1 onto S2. So we remove the top element that we have in S1. So we remove two, we put it into S2. We remove one and we put it into S2, right? So now we have one here. And then if I were to remove an item, we're gonna remove one, right? So the one is the top element that we have in our S2 stack. And now if I were to insert three, we can just insert three here. And if I want to remove an item, in this case, we just remove the item that we have in S2 because S2 is not empty. And if I were to insert another item, or in this case, if I were to remove another item, in this case, because we know this is empty, we're just gonna get all the items that we have in S1 
add it onto S2. Okay, so we have this. Because when we add items onto S2, right, the order is flipped. Okay, so that's why we can be able to remove the top item that we have in, in the stack. In this case, it's three. So this will uh, be able to remove the first item that we have in the queue, right? So now if we were to insert another item, in this case, it's four, and same thing. Um, if I were to remove this item, which I can see if this is empty, if it is, we're going to get this item right here added onto this stack right here. Okay, so that's the goal. And let's take a look at how we can do this in code. So first, we're going to have is two stacks. So we're going to have a stack, which is type integer. We're going to call it uh, the push stack. So the stack in charge of inserting items in. And we also have another stack, which is called pop stack. And the stack basically in charge of removing items out of the stack. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, when we push items in, we basically push it to the push stack, right? So push stack dot add or dot push, right? We're adding this items into onto the stack. Okay, so let's just call it push. But when we pop in items out of the stack, we want to make sure that we check to see if the pop stack is empty. If it's empty, we're going to make get all the items that we have in push stack, insert it onto the pop stack, right? And same thing for peak. So let's create a method that basically converts, right? So converts, convert push stack to pop stack, okay? So we're going to basically uh, complete this method. Right, so basically the idea is this. So if we know that pop stack dot is empty, then we can just call this method to convert all the items that we have in push stack to the pop stack. Then we're going to return top item, right? So push stack dot pop. We pop the top item that we have on the push stack out and then return it to the users. And for the peak, it's the same thing. So in this case, we do the same thing. If the, the pop stack is empty, we're just going to convert all the items that we have in push stack to the pop stack. And then at the end, we're just going to return pop stack dot peak. Okay. And now let's implement this uh, convert push stack to pop stack method. So basically, we're going to have a size is equal to push stack. So the current push stacks. Uh, size and then basically for each item that we have right so integer i is equal to zero i is less than size i plus plus so we iterate from zero to this number of uh, items that we have in our stack right we basically first pop the items off so it's an integer the top item is equal to uh, push stack dot pop and then we're just going to insert it into the pop stack. So we're going to say pop stack dot add or dot push the top item that we have for uh, for the item that we just remo removed from the pop, uh, push stack. And then we're just going to continuously do that for size number time. And then at the end, we get all the items that we have in the push stack onto the pop stack, right? So now let's try to implement this uh, empty method. So the goal is we want to check to see if this uh, this current uh, data is empty, right? This current uh, data structure is empty. So to to do that, we basically there could be a situation where we have items in the queue, and there's also could be a situation where we have items in the stack. So we check for both of them, right? If both of them are empty, we basically that means this this we we have an empty queue, right? So let's return push stack is empty. And we also have to check to see if pop stack is empty as well. So if both of them are empty, then we know that this is our queue is empty. So we can just return um, true, right? So if we were to run the code and uh, let's try to submit. And you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve this problem.